Okay, and so in other tutorials, we've added repos before, and but we haven't removed one yet. And so in case for some reason um, you need to remove a repo, uh, let's say that you were trying to make a website and you mistyped it or something and it doesn't match the name. So first I'll show you how to create a repo again and then how to remove one that's a bad one or rename it. So um, let's first of all go into repos tab here, click on new, and we'll call it uh, uh, Rob, Rob uh, or something dash demo dot github.com again you would never do this I'm making one that's broken right so so that we have an example I gave it a readme so it has something in it and now when we go back on our repos list can you click there you can see I've got this other one oh dang you know so um let's say we're really bad and I wanted first of all I wanted to try to rename it so I'm going to go in to the repo I'm going to click on settings down here which is the key for everything that's where everything happens and right here I can try to rename it but let's say I'm a really bad typer and I rename it wrong okay so it says it's going to rename the repo to that so it renames it happily and if I go back to my list of repos there it is I'm like well I give up in fact I've already got one that's the right name so I want to delete it okay so the way to delete it would be same thing click on the repo go to settings and they have this really cool red zone this is why hacker vision is off so you can see the red zone and you click on delete this repository and you actually have to type out the name because they are so cautious about telling you you don't get this back you type this out you are saying it's okay to delete it forever without being able to restore it so it's now been completely cleared from right repository list and it's as if it didn't exist okay but one other let's try one other case where you need to remove it um, I mean down you, you've made a clone of it even okay so I'm going to create a new repo I'm going to use a shortcut this time up here create new repo let's create the one with the bad name again robmh dot git oops um, dash demo dot github dot com <laughs> because again it has to match the name right so I'm this is a broken one remember this is a broken one but this this would be me trying to name it right and look at how horribly I did I did so horrible right what's supposed to be really right rama dash demo dot github the io is the real one so we're making a broken one so I'm creating this broken one which again you don't do unless you're showing how to fix a broken one and Let's, uh, oh gosh, let's let's even give it, um, oops, not that one. Uh, okay, yeah, here we go. Let's give it a page and say we got really far along in this, right? And we actually put our HTML in here. And I'm not even going to do a header. I'm just going to do body of my broken page. But it doesn't even matter to why we're putting this in there because we're not going to get to see it. Let's name it index.html as if we're trying to make it into our website. And f for a million reasons, this is not going to work, right? Can you think of like 10 off the top of your head? First of all, the name doesn't match my name, right? Secondly, it's not github.io and it's not .com. But let's say, let's just say you, you created one like this and you got so far along that you actually cloned it. So let's let's actually clone this broken thing. So git clone Rob oh, I can't even remember the name. I'm gonna have to look it up. <laughs> okay, so git clone R O B R O B M H demo dot git ha dot com. Oh dot git. But I'm gonna go back, I forgot to type the beginning stuff, so G I T at GitHub dot com. And then my user account name, let's get that right, demo, Rama dash demo. And, oh, it's a slash. So now when I hit enter, it actually cloned the thing. Wow, okay. So then we make a change. And we get really frustrated. So I'm seeding into this thing. We make our change and pretend like, uh, let's pretend like we actually saved it, you know, like we went through the whole thing. So, wow, I'm such a good programmer. I'm doing it. Commit. Um, 
the initial or something. And then my git push, which will all work. Oh, that's going to work, right? And then I go up here, I look at my new version. Wow, but it's not showing up. Why is it not showing up? Well, we know why, right? Because this is the good one and this is the broken one. And we're like, oh, dang it. Now I need to delete it. So I need to delete this one. <laughs> so I'm going into, going into that demo. Let's say I got all the stuff out of it that I wanted to by opening it up and, you know, going in here and, oh, I don't know, cutting and pasting it, you know, all into another repo by opening it up. And we did all that. We got all the content out of there that we wanted to, and now we're ready to delete the thing. So then we click on it. We go to settings. Same thing as before. We don't, we're not, we don't care to rename it because we've already got another one that works. So we're going to delete this repo, which means I have to type that crazy name again. There's demo. Okay, so now I'm going to delete this. Okay, now I, I really, I almost didn't make this tutorial because I didn't want to confuse you. This is, this tutorial is only useful in how you would remove stuff. So we see we were back to a clean thing. The repos are gone. We still have this one down here though. So what do we do with it? Well, uh, I'm not seeing it. So, you know, I have, I have several down here, right? I have the good one and then I have the bad one. Well, I only want to remove the bad one. So to do that, I do rm dash rf robmh dash. I'm making sure to get the the right one. I hit tab there dash demo dot github dot com. So I triple check to make sure that's the right one because this will delete the directory and everything in it. That's what the dash r means, recursive. So I hit enter and now it's gone. Okay, so now if I try to go into Rama, you'll see there's nothing there. Um, and we're good. So that's how you delete a repo. Um, and it we sort of made it relate to web pages if you were going to delete one. Um, but it applies to any GitHub project. You should That's how you would add and remove them. Uh, you're going to get really good at it because you're going to end up with dozens of them eventually, maybe more, um, as you contribute to open source projects or you... Um, make your own so uh try that out with a few demo demo um um or you know whatever random projects that you just create just for the sake of deleting them and get proficient in doing it and making sure that you're deleting the right stuff and learning that before you have like really important stuff in there later on in your project thanks for watching